All right, so it should have the timestamp on the recording, but just in case, today is Monday, February 19th, 2024. And I've done all the winter pruning I need to do for these three trees in here, and there's no trees. I got a little bit of drama from the next door neighbor about pruning the mulberry tree he planted, but nobody damaged, you know, they'll kill mine, but no damage to theirs. Um, got some nettle planted from seed. Well, self-seeded, but I helped it along. Got some coming up there in the compost. Um, finally cut this up, so hopefully I'll be opening this up right here. Skin's a little dry, but can't really tell. Blurry tablet camera. Um, opening up so it'll be opened there, all that, and then all this. Uh, that'll still be paved right over there, but it should both help dry the soil uh, when it rains a little quicker, closer to the foundations for the house. I'm also going to cut into here, remove this, hopefully keep it alive, and then... Oh yeah, that's where they threw the cat that's damaged. I threw cinnamon on there because it caught a fucking fungus. Pardon my language. Um, but, um... Yeah, so this is kind of coming along as one of the second, it's a second year, but first um, strong year for the inside of here, which has been terribly set back compared to, oh, look at friendliness. So that would be the mulberry right there lowest one right now and then um, finally I don't know what changed which is a little bit of the reason for the recording something changed and uh, the neighbors started mulching some more uh, they actually listened but I've been doing this over here even though they keep sending people to remove it so that's the state of it right now uh, threw in some rue so that's I think on the other recording that's it's establishing, I guess, well enough. Had to replace the ice plant here, um, which should ideally be growing on this side of the soil berm here uh, when it gets hot and drier. So it'll benefit from a little bit of a microclimate setting and then um, not need watering. So I know it's an ornamental, but hopefully keeps the soil erosion down around the trash cans because that was covered in soil uh, even though it's paved right there um, so again I brought some nettle this is from last year I tried to keep it alive and let it seed itself but despite the interruptions um, some survived then I've got some I actually set this year there and I've been trying to weed out the grass uh, without uprooting it. So I got some mature flowers and seeds. Hopefully will drop from that and multiply a bit better this year than before. Uh, it was not present here in the park when I first checked the first few years. Like, this shouldn't have taken this long really shouldn't have. This is several years in, and that's the rosemary. Um, all these rosemaries along this side right here, this way, are already rooted, and then there's cuttings there and there to replace, um, well, I think one is being replaced and another one is just to establish roots. There's another one over here too. I threw some nasturtium seeds in there, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so I cut a little bit back, and that's regrown over there. You can kind of tell along there. Um, I cut a little bit in, and then I, I threw it over the soil brim for the, what would you call it, the swale. It's not completely measured on contour, 
but the measuring I did on contour kind of got thrown out with everything else. So, but did some cutting here to mulch around there. And you can tell the difference in the leaf color, but the leaf shape also, that's not uh, mallow. That's nasturtium. So hopefully that'll be the ground cover. That's mallow. And it leads me to the other detail. Well, before I get to that, to this stuff I cut, you can kind of tell the color hasn't greened up again. So that's supposed to be kind of on contour there. And uh, serve shrubs and then probably fruit tree line here. I had thought maybe a footpath that would cut down to that point and I don't know how much um, yeah, incline up leading to there uh, past this side of that. Um, there's old tires and stuff that could help but this fruit tree line wouldn't interfere basically is what I'm saying and then it would kind of come down this way reduce the steepness of it and then end right there as for the uh, as for the uh, bulletin board thing that I thought I think that's not a bad spot for it um, I wish it could be further in but I don't know about that uh, as far as the mango tree that I have in the back, I'm thinking here where I cut, there's some dry stuff there that marked. That might not be a bad spot between this acacia and that acacia. And then there could be also something similar between this other acacia over here and it, this one, right about there. But, so there'd be one acacia, one mango, another acacia, and then another mango. And then the last acacia would be there. Uh, there's also a cherimoya. No, it's a guanabana, which is, I think, related to cherimoya. Anyway, so this is um, the stuff I had to cut back right now. Kind of should thicken up, regrow more stout, thicker, stronger. Uh, better roots for the whatever is left of the rain and here's the last detail couldn't really tell in, in the last video but uh, what was going to regrow here you could tell how the grass that it cut back didn't include too much of this mallow stuff it had this other stuff and then there's lamb's quarters there and then this other stuff I forget what this was related to um, it's been a few years since I even looked it up. But I cut that back and I threw this in here around the Palo Verde tree. So that's supposed to be a little bit of a grouping that goes on here. I threw in Morning Glory there. I kind of want to see how the soil does with a relative of the, the sweet potato family in the soil. So, um, yeah, so they're coming up, but I'm having a little bit of a trouble. Trouble. A little bit of trouble getting it to grow past the pests. So there's one right there, and you can tell it's got no leaves. Just touch that right there, no leaves. Um, and then there's another one over here somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. That one right there. Uh, the bugs have been eating it, and maybe it's my own fault for keeping the mulch around it, but we'll see. I Grew some, I'm growing some indoors too, well in the patio too, so if I need replacements, I'll have some replacements. I decided to leave tumbleweed. I think it's a, I don't think it's an invasive species. Uh, I mean, you know, it's desert desertification, so it's kind of invasive anyway, but there's that one there too. That one's doing better. I think it's younger. Um, but yeah, the I try to keep as many stones here as possible and try to get rid of the scrap stuff, the concrete, because it doesn't have the same thermal mass, and I kind of want to give these a boost. Um, speaking of them, the cactus, you can see 
This is the detail I wanted to save for last. Those are ladybug eggs. Right there. Really blurry. Um, uh, it's like I'm recording with a phone from 20 years ago. You can tell the color for sure, but you can't really see the detail. That one may be a little bit better. And then, so there's two little clusters there. Uh, so I had to cut this back so I don't cut it when they're out the hatch and the larvae are running around. I don't want to kill them or anything. But um, there's another, there's another one where right in here somewhere. Okay, those two up there. Ah, right there. See that? And I used to think these were San Pedro, but uh, I'm not sure anymore. I think they're actually a, a, a Peruvian apple. So, a little bit better because edible fruit from that, but not the species I thought. So I won't be doing any grafting on those. And then they've they've been dealt some damage there over the years, but they're coming up as you can tell it's pretty tall now. So those are three egg clusters right here, and I think it has to do with temperature, maybe the type of vegetation, I don't know. Ladybugs aren't stupid, they have senses for that sort of thing, otherwise they wouldn't be able to make it to the next generation, right? So there they are, and I've seen some mating, some adults mating, with this weather, they're not dead, they're not hibernating, but I saw some mating over here, and just in the dry grass, so, that's kind of hopeful, again, most of that is stinging metal, you can see. Yeah, there's, there's mostly just summer pruning trees to be done here. 12 minutes in, mostly summer pruning, but this stuff doesn't really spread. With all the cutting back and the burning, uh, mostly just grass gets to self-seed and come back. And since they don't do this, they don't cut it before it flowers, they don't cut it before it sets seed, it just keeps coming back and they don't really notice that they're doing it to themselves really uh, and then they also don't let these guys uh, flower and set seeds so they're really just making the soil worse and worse and shittier and shittier less nutrients and you can tell one of the big differences here is the amount of dirt on the path that hasn't washed out from the storms despite the areas where they did cut and that has a lot more dirt and soil there. Um, this part right here is a little bit of a problem. You can tell the soil there. It's a little bit of a problem because I cleared it, I opened it up and wanted it to serve as drainage. You can tell I uh, scooped out some soil and I put more soil and more sand and gravel, but it was working before and now, I don't know if it's clogged but it definitely wasn't working the first set of storms, so I had to scoop that out. And anyway, there's more of those, but we'll see. I'm, I'm surprised they allowed even the plants I did put in to survive this long, or this berm, this basin around the tree to hold. Though they keep stealing all the logs that I put in there. I don't have any more logs that diameter, really. You know, this, this thickness and stuff, I don't have any more big ones. So I gotta throw in little branches and shit. And then I use the last ones on that mulberry. For that mulberry, I... Oh, hopefully I'll replace this with mesquite. I have tree seeds, so... Um, so I, I wanna start a, I wanted to start a guild here. I planted nettle, but I think they killed it. I'm not sure. Um, it could have dried out, but here's the nasturtium, hopefully, for this guild. Um, hopefully that'll take over. The 